Hey everyone, I have a question for you. True or false, a buyer should ask for everything on a home inspection to be repaired. The answer is false. And yes, for those of you wondering, we are still having inspections even in this crazy market. We have been seeing a lot of as-is inspections with a right to terminate, which means that inspections are done for informational purposes only, and that the buyers won't be asking for repairs. So this type of inspection still protects buyers so that they can terminate the contract if something were to come up in the inspection that they were not comfortable with. So home inspections, they really do provide a plethora of information. You have a ton of good information about your house. And yes, it is a long process, usually around three hours while you're having your home inspected, but it is put in place to make sure that you are very well aware of all of the components of your home. So this will include things that you may need to maintain, to keep an eye on, and any possible material defects. So material defects are those items that are either very costly to fix, compromise the integrity of the home, or are a big safety issue. So for example, anything typically with electrical or plumbing that's not working correctly are considered a material defect. These are items that we're going to go back to have the sellers fix or repair, or get a credit to fix or repair them ourselves. Anything that's big, not little knickknack items. So for example, when we sold our condo, the buyers had their inspection and they came back asking for two things, to have the little light bulb under the microwave replaced and to have a screw on one of the toilets tightened. So definitely not material defects. Anyway, back to material defects. Uh, will sellers fix every single thing from that list? No, so I always tell my clients, We'll figure out what works best for both of us, both the buyer and the seller. And whatever terms we come to, if you're not okay with the response and it's going to be too much work for you, you have an out and you're able to release yourself from the contract. So just be aware that you have an inspection to protect yourself, but it is not typical to go back and ask for every single thing on the report to be repaired. Uh, I keep my inspection report in a binder in my house. I use it as a checklist for things that I need to be cognizant of or that might need repair. So you can kind of pick and choose which projects you want to tackle. Um, so this year we redid part of our roof, which is not the most fun home improvement project, but that's what inspections are there for. So if you need a good home inspector, I know people in the area, so don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be happy to set you up.